Hola, ¿cómo están? How are you guys doing today? I am Luis Crespo, Director of Youth Programming here at Collaboration Action Theater, and we are happy to welcome you guys back. Hola and hello. So, um, I am here with my wonderful co-hosts. Uh, say hello, you two. Yo, hello there. Hi. Hi, I am Lisandra Tena. I have been collaborating with Collaboration since 2012. I'm a working actor out here in Los Angeles. And how about you, Ethan? I'm Ethan Amir Akins. I've been working with Collaboration since 2017. I go to Disney 2 Magnet High School, and it's been a really fun experience. So, before we get started, we'd like to thank a few sponsors who are helping make this happen. Joseph and Bessie Feinberg Foundation, Malnati Family Foundation, AV Chicago, and viewers like yourself. We are going to get started with an original piece by Aria Malari. Thanks for sharing with us, Aria. Take it away. My grandmother wants nothing more than to talk at the dinner table in her language. My grandmother dreams that I will one day be able to speak to her in her language, in the language she spoke her first words in, in the language she recited her wedding vows in, in the language she sang lullabies to her baby in. The language with words that don't fit in my mouth, the language with a structure my tongue doesn't understand, the language with a sound my voice cannot create, the language like a riddle my vocal cords are unable to solve. I am not the daughter of my grandmother's mother tongue, but the adopted child of the nation that told her, you are in America now. Speak English. The child commended for having an A in her English class. A child praised for using such ornate vocabulary. A child complimented for having a perfect American accent. The granddaughter who knows nothing about her grandparents' language. Not a single word. Sitting at the dinner table at family reunions, I silently beg them to speak more. As if the words could find their way from my relative's lips and through my ears and to my tongue. I am deafened to the symphonies my grandparents hear when speaking on the phone with relatives. The melody I can hope to hum, but never sing with lyrics like words in a word search. It's a tune my tongue cannot dance to, getting tied up by each and every sentence. When they pass me the phone, I have no words to say. I hear the words my aunts and uncles are speaking, but it sounds like alphabet soup. And the words I want to say are contained in the can. When silence begins to hang over us, I realize that the language that I have swallowed and digested has failed me because the language of my motherland is not where my voice takes shelter, because the words my aunts and uncles are speaking have no meaning to my ears, because I have become a part of the people that my grandparents were worried about, because I hear the same chicken scraps in my grandparents' language that they hear. Because the only phrase I know is, Hindi ako nang sasalita nang Tagalog. I don't speak Tagalog. Thank you very much, Aria, for sharing. That was a beautiful piece. And uh, Louis and Lissandra, I think it's time that we check in. Yes, let's share how we're feeling and why in the moment right now. And let's also share one of our favorite performers or actors. And let's also share our favorite way to unwind. I am feeling a bit uncertain because there are a lot of wild things going around around me in the world. And it makes me feel uncertain, not necessarily in a bad way, but just in an uncertain way. My favorite way to relax is actually to sit in front of my fish tank and just watch 
watch my fish move and groove and swim around. Uh, my favorite performer or actor, I will go with James Maynard. He is the singer for um, a, uh, a metal band called Tool. Sandra, how do you feel? Great. Um, how do I feel? I feel mellow because uh, it's very, very hot here today. Uh, let's see. What was the other one? Um, how do I relax? I like to color in a coloring book right before bed. It's really relaxing. And one of my favorite actors, performers, is currently Jillian Anderson. Amazing. Ethan, what about you? I'm feeling uh, pretty good right now. I took a two-hour, or, or rather one-hour nap before I showed up here. My favorite way to relax is listening to old early 2000s techno music. And my favorite actor, um, actually my favorite voice actor would have to be Yuri Lowenthal. He does the voice of Spider-Man, most recent Spider-Man game, Sasuke and Naruto and a whole bunch more. And now everyone out there in the land of the internet, take a moment to check in with yourself. If you're, um, how are you feeling right now? Who's your favorite actor? And how do you relax? Thank you. Um, now, it's time to get ready to go to create, to develop, to share original content. And, you know, while you're working at home and you're moving along, if inspiration kicks in, now allow that to take you into a different direction. That's okay. Follow it, all righty? You could follow our lead, but also be ready to set out on your own path if you need to. Yes, again, write unapologetically and trust the moment. This is a time to explore, experiment, and grow as artists. And have fun and share what you write. Let's explore our passions, our fears, our dreams, concepts, and ideas together. What's up? What's up? Now, it is time to warm up. Now make sure you have some space to move around in, all righty? You could do this sitting down if you'd like, but if you're able to get up, why don't you take this moment to get up and move and groove with us? What's up? Okay, time to warm up. We are going to start with a couple stretches, all righty? We're gonna start with our fingers. We're gonna wiggle our fingers, all righty? You guys at home, you know you can wiggle your fingers with us. What's up? And now start rotating those hands, almost curving space with your hands. And now get your elbows and your shoulders involved. That's right, you're getting this wacky movement going. Now get your torso going. Get your torso, oh my goodness, and now your hips are going. Your hips are going, and now your feet are up off the floor, and your toes are wiggling and jiggling, and you're, you're exploring different levels up, down, left, right, all the way, diagonal, horizontal, all the ways that you can move and make that into your own prodigy dance. Prodigy dance, prodigy dance, a boop, 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 it's a prodigy dance, a prodigy dance, a prodigy dance, a boop, 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 prodigy dance. Good, 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 good. And bring that to a neutral place. Bring that to a neutral place. Good neutral place. Go ahead and close your eyes and focus on that breath going in and out of you naturally. Good breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, bring your hands to your chest, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Feel that wonderful heartbeat in through your nose, out through your mouth. Focus on your heart or your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. And allow that beating to kind of resonate inside of you. And choose an affirming word, something that is positive, like love, hope, gratitude. And let that word shine inside of your heart and radiate from inside of you, outside of you. Breathe in, release. Feel that good energy. Open your eyes. And good, thank you for breathing with us. Appreciate that. Now we are going to do a mirroring activity. We're gonna be super silly over on our side because that's why, why the heck not? Right? So when you're over there doing it with us, play along, okay? 
Now, I'm going to start a mirroring activity, and you'll notice that if I put my hand up like so, my co-hosts do the same. And this is all to the best of the ability. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. But even though this might be a recording, we are oddly enough connecting, aren't we? We're building up some energy. Nice. Now I'd like you to focus on facial expressions, co-hosts. I pass it to the Sandra. I pass it to Ethan. Nice. Pass it to Lewis. What's up? What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for playing along. We went out there. That is our warmed up. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. Okay, let's transition into our main activity. Today we're going to focus on poetry. Now we're going to continue to use stream of consciousness creative writing as our method of, of generating material, but we want to try to shape it into more of a poetic form. Now, there are different types of poetry, like- uh, Yes, poetry like haikus, yes. sonnets, epic poetry, free verse, nursery rhymes, limericks, odes. It can be a narrative poem, dramatic or lyrical. The idea is to use your words to stir the imagination and carefully arrange the language's meaning, the sound, and the rhythm. Uh, what about some of the folks in the audience who might not know the difference between poetry and spoken word? Mm. Well, there's a fine line between the two of them, and poetry is more personal and written for the page, and they really both contain the writer's thoughts and emotions. But spoken word focuses on the aesthetics of sound for live performance, live, like theater, uh, for like live theater, and it's and it's often um, written to provoke a reaction from the people who are listening or viewing. Um, uh, Aria, would you like to give your thoughts on poetry versus spoken word offhand? Definitely. I definitely think that poetry is a little bit more one dimensional and spoken word is definitely multi dimensional because in spoken word, you're not just relating to a page, you're relating to an actual person who has feelings and emotions. And that piece can change depending on how the performer is um, performing it. Bam, what's up? Well, well, well said. Um, sweet, thank you, Aria. Ethan, what's next? I think we're just about ready to write. So just everyone remember to explore and experiment. This is a good place to workshop your ideas and ask us any questions you may have. Don't overthink it, just trust yourself and the direction that your writing goes. Um, we'll be doing the activity alongside you all, and then I'll share what I wrote. Don't forget, you can always rewrite, add, and edit anything you'd like later. Don't forget to breathe and see where your subconscious takes you. Make sure you have water ready when you need it. Stay hydrated. Okay, you have 30 seconds to go find a book or a magazine or something that has 
paper in it and words in it. All righty, you got 30 seconds. Don't pause it, use these 30 seconds, all right? I'm gonna count it down. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 23, 22, 21. I know I said 23 twice, so I'm gonna skip some numbers and go to 19, 18, 17, 15, 14, find that book, 16, 14, 13. I know I mixed it up there, so I'm gonna go from 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I found my book, four, three, two, one. And all right, all righty. So you've got your book. I chose this book and it's oddly enough, creative visualization. That's pretty cool. The universe is helping me out here. Now, you're gonna flip through this book and randomly choose five words. They might be nouns, verbs, adjectives, right? Go ahead and randomly choose. So if I'm gonna randomly choose five words, all right? Uh, consciousness was one. Man, this book is gonna give me nice, good words, righty? Um, say is the second one, all right? I didn't do so good on my second word, okay? Um, other goodness gracious all right so you're going to choose five words that you're randomly choosing from your book i'm going to give you 30 seconds to go ahead and do that open the book and randomly choose um you may end up choosing other words in favor of others but that's okay all righty 30 seconds to go ahead and find your five words go ahead and do it 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22, 21, 20, and a 19, and a 18, and a 17, and a 16, and a 15, and a 14, and a 13, and a 12, and 11, 10, boom, 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 nine, dun, 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 eight, dun, 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 seven, boom, 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 six, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, <laughs> five, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, four, do, 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 no! Da, da, two, three, beep, ba, da, ba, one. All right, you got five words. Five words. All righty. Um, Ethan, what are your five words that you have chosen? Um, legend, time, peace, uh, grow, and slow. All right. What's up? What's up, Arya? What are your five words that you've chosen? I have cosmic, ice cream, day, core, and universe. What's up, what's up? Uh, Lissandra, what are your five words? Okay, so I have break, board, so, library, Tuesday. All right, what's up, what's up? All righty, so you've got your five words. Choose one of those words. One of those words that you're going to use to create a poem. Now, with the poetry, you're kind of connecting with how you feel about this issue, topic, or whatever the case may be, you know? So you've got five words. Take a few moments to whittle it that down to one. And this is going to be the poem that you're going to write about. It's going to be about this, this word. So, Ethan, what's your word? Um, time. Time, so your poem will be about time. Aria, what is your word? I think I'm gonna go with ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, all right, well, what's up, what's up? So ice cream is your word. Lissandra, which is the word you chose? So. So, all righty. So, great words, all righty, excellent words. All of you guys out there, you have one out of many words that you've chosen. Now you're gonna take an opportunity to really reflect on this word and we're gonna give you four minutes to write, to write and really uh, allow your imagination to take hold and take, take you on a writing journey. Um, Ethan, Lissandra, Aria, do you have any food for thought for folks out there who are about to start writing their, their possibly their first poem? Just remember, don't force it. Just let it come naturally, and whatever makes it on the page is what's meant to be there. Yep, and uh, even if you don't like what you wrote, um, it's still something that came to you naturally, and you should be proud of that. It may not be perfect, but it's certainly something. Yes, uh, and Ethan, good, good point. If you don't like it, you can also laugh about it. <laughs> so, everyone sit up straight. Place both feet on the floor. 
Place the palms of your hands on your knees and close your eyes. You're going to take deep breaths in through your nose and out of your mouth, and you're going to do your best to breathe like this throughout the activity. Once you open your eyes and begin writing, you can get into whatever position you feel comfortable in. But for now, sitting up straight, breathing in through your nose, out of your mouth, palms on your knees. Relax as much as possible. Open your eyes and begin to write. We're going to give you four minutes to complete your poem. Time's up. All righty. Good. 
find a good place to finalize and finish up your writing, knowing that you'll have an opportunity to go back to it if you need to. Let's hear yours, Ethan and Aria. And before you share, provide any details that you feel we should know um, that came to mind as you were shaping your piece. All right, I'll start off. I'm, uh, my word was time and uh, My word was time, and uh, basically the, th the thought behind it was that um, in life there's not really a whole lot of time to do every single thing there is, and that was kind of the thought process I was going with. And while I do have an ending point, I do believe this can be expanded on. So here we go. <clears throat> there is never enough time, not enough time to walk, not enough time to run, not enough time to talk, not enough time to see, not enough time to hear, not enough time to smell, not enough time to decide, not enough time to hesitate, not enough time to cherish. There's never enough time. Great, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's nice how you use that reoccurring, just time, it, there's not enough time, not enough time using that reoccurring language is nice. Thank you. Aria, what do you have? The word I chose was balloon, and the title of this piece is Wendy. Stubby fingers closed around a white string, struggling to hold on, as a red balloon fights to stay afloat in the drowning wind. Tiny shoes digging into the playground dirt, in the last effort against the air, blowing and roaring, ripping away what we love most and stealing it into the sky. Teasing us as the balloon slips through our fingers and out of our grasp, making us watch as the red orb drifts further and further away until it's gone, existing only as a memory. And that's it. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, what's up? All righty, continue to work and flesh these out. Anything to add, Arya, anything? Um, if the topic you're referring to in your poetry is really something that you're passionate about, then I highly encourage that you just keep on running with it because your poetry will only improve from there on when you're talking about something you're genuinely passionate about. Yeah, and if you're gen genuinely passionate about it, make sure that you're putting a little bit of yourself into the poem. Humans are creatures of stories, so they'll like it even more if you're in it. What's up? Sweet. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. All right. What's up? Thank you very much for sharing, uh, Aria and Ethan. But now it is time to check out. Lissandra, how do we check out? Thanks, Luis. This is how we check out. But first, I just want to say what a productive day. And thank you for spending your time with us. It was great to hear the new work you've created. But now it's time to check out. And I will begin. So I am feeling really satisfied because I got to be here with you. Um, the next question is, if you can give yourself one gift, what would it be? And the first thing that came to mind was one gift that keeps on giving so I can give it away to other people and keep the good <laughs> energy and flow. And if you could travel to one place, where would you go? Again, the first thing that came to mind was, I would say Arabia, because that's one place my dad has always wanted to go, and I want to go where he goes. So, Aria, what about you? I am feeling excited because I feel like Mother Nature is finally about to bring us a beautiful summer. Um, if I could give myself one gift, I would give myself force sensitivity because I think it would be cool to use the force like the Jedi. And if I could go to one place, I would want to go to the bioluminescent world of Pandora from the movie Avatar. Sweet. What's up? What's up? What about you, Ethan? Um, well, I'm feeling uh, pretty good right now. I'm, after this, I'm just going to take a shower, then do dishes. If I can give myself one gift, it would be a 
a dual disc, and basically it's pretty much where you put trading cards on, and then you summon monsters. It's awesome. And if I'm gonna go to one place, if I could travel to one place, it would be Japan. And nice. How about, and how about you, Lewis? Uh, I feel happy because I had a lot of fun today. Uh, okay, I am feeling I am feeling happy because I had a lot of fun today. Um, if I had one place that I can travel to, it would be Hawaii. It's nice and warm. I like the idea of Hawaii. And if I could gift myself something, it would be the gift of eternal self-confidence. That's what I would give myself. Goodness gracious, that was fun. But it looks like we are out of time for today. Remember, keep your journal with you. Refer to it often. Work on it throughout the week and continue developing what you've been creating with us let it grow let it transform let it evolve let it let it turn into something magical bring material and ideas to share if you want to visit us during our live taping but no matter what surprise yourself and trust that what you've got is not only good it's on its way to greatness mm -hmm. and if you think it's really great share it with collaboration after the show send your draft or finished piece to the email on your screen or submit through the together network at portal at collaboration.org. Yes, you could be our next featured guest here on Prodigies or ask to participate in one of our upcoming festivals. Thank you all so much for joining and sharing. And a big thanks to all of our Collaboration sponsors, staff, and crew. Be sure to invite your friends to our next workshop. Until then, follow us on social media at Collaboration for all the latest news and updates. What's up, what's up? Gracias, como están? How are you guys feeling? Thank you so much. Well, if you want, you could visit us and see what we have coming up, like Lissandra said, and we'll have more opportunities to create at our next Prodigies workshop. So come join us. Now, keep working on your art. And if you're interested in continuing this going on, we have summer apprenticeships for youth. You can sign up at afterschoolmatters.org and search for Collaboration Teen Theater Ensemble. Well, that's about it. Thanks again, everyone. Goodbye. Adios. Adios, adios. Prodigies, prodigies, prodigies. Workshop, what? Prodigies, prodigies, prodigies. Workshop, what? Prodigies.